So, hey, what's up guys? Um, what I'll be, well, first, how's it going? Um, what I'm gonna be doing today, I'm gonna be doing something a little different from what I'm used to doing. I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna do an entire video, just continuous, without any cuts, just almost like what a live stream would be, just showing you exactly what I'm doing. Um, so right now, I'm in Phu Quoc, which is an island in the south of Vietnam. And what we're gonna be doing today, I'm a little further south from Phu Quoc City. So we're gonna drive with the scooter here, or the motorbike, um, to the city. And we'll probably get something to eat. And then we're gonna visit this temple that's right on the beach side. And yeah, look at the pier that's right beside it. And besides that, might do some other things, uh, some other fun little things along the way. So, as I said, guys, I'm just gonna make this all continuous. Um, and I will chop it up into chapters so you guys can obviously skip through some parts if you wanna skip through it or just watch the whole thing. Um, so, yeah, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna drive on into the city. Uh, I'm gonna mount this onto the scooter. Let me make sure it's well mounted and then let's get on our way. There we go. Perfect. All right, let's go guys. I don't know if you guys can hear me all that well, um, but the roads here are obviously, as you can tell, quite bumpy. And Phu Quoc itself is quite a, it's quite a big island, um, but it's not that developed. But Vietnam is definitely, they're starting to develop it more and more. If you go on the beach, you'll see there's tons of uh, resorts being built at the moment. Uh, not as much as before, obviously because of COVID and there's not as much tourism, but they're definitely doing a lot of building here. So where we're going today, the city of Phu Quoc, it's about in the middle of the middle of the uh, west side of the island. So most of the development is on the west side and there's a bit on the east side. But here we're going out on the main strip. Uh, I'll stop talking for now because you guys won't really be able to hear anything I say. So I'll see you guys when I get there.
All right, guys, so we just arrived. Um, I'm gonna change the handles here so that, cause right, the handle that I attached for the motorbike is a little different than the one I walk around with. So give me just one second here. And I'm gonna fix you guys onto this handle here. Awesome, give me one second guys, and... Oh, and this is how you break your GoPro. All right, almost screwed it on guys. Give me three, two, one, and done. Awesome. So I'm just gonna throw this back in here. Got to take this off. Here we go. Awesome. All right. So, here we are. Oh, my goodness. Here we are in the city of uh, Puwok, Puwok city. As you can see, uh, there's the, well, part of the harbor. We've got uh, a lot of boats here. Most of these boats are like for tours. Um, these aren't actual fishing boats, except for that big blue one you see over there. Some of these smaller ones are fishing boats as well. But if you go inland, they have a bunch of fishing boats there. Um, so I'll make another video maybe about the market sometime. Um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna walk along this, uh, along this pier here really quick. And the other thing is that with this temple, um, I'll show you guys a little bit of the outside of it, but truthfully probably not allowed to really be taking videos, you know, in a religious place. So. Um, I can obviously show the outside, like I said, but going inside is probably not. Uh, it's either prohibited or not necessarily um, the nicest thing to do. So um, I'll show you guys the outside of that temple and uh, let's go to the end of this pier. One thing guys that I completely forgot about, um, which I always forget about and which is why I tend to get burnt all the time is I forgot to put on sunscreen. So if you guys, well, if you guys are in sun anyway, anywhere, uh, definitely put on some sunscreen because I'm, I'm going to be quite red uh, this evening. So uh, we'll just walk, walk to the end of this pier really quick and then uh, head right back so I can get in some shade. Um, but as you can, as you guys can see, this is Fuwok City. And uh, truthfully, as a city, it's quite, quite small. There's not, I mean, there's not much going on. It's, uh, it's definitely a tourist town. Um, but at the same time, it's, it's very, it's very relaxing here. So it's not like Da Nang where you've got the big expat scene. I mean, you do have expats here, but not nearly as much as Da Nang. Uh, there aren't a bunch of like parties or the bar scene isn't huge here. Um, supposedly it's mainly only on the weekends. So it's, uh, yeah, it's definitely a lot calmer here uh, than in a lot of the other bigger Vietnamese cities. Um, which isn't bad. If you want to come here and kind of relax for a bit, then absolutely. Um, I mean, I personally love it here. And there is like here in Fuwok, you can do scuba diving. Um, you can, well, snorkeling, free diving, obviously. Uh, right now, supposedly the visibility. So right now it's, uh, what, what month are we? We're March, <laughs> it's the end of March. And supposedly it isn't the best month to go scuba diving. Supposedly the visibility isn't the greatest. Uh, I'll make sure to do some research on that, but 
if the visibility is still good, maybe I'll go on a scuba dive and I'll take you guys along for the adventure as well. Um, ooh, this sun is, uh, ooh, I'm feeling it. Here, look at this, uh, look at this boat here. It's, uh, it's way on its side. Um, there we go. Um, yeah, guys, like I said, though, uh, it's, it's nice for like outdoor activities. Uh, you can go island hopping, uh, camping on the islands. They have like stand up paddle boards, kayaks, anything like water sports. Um, you've got a lot of that here. Another cool fact about Puwok is that uh, a lot of the pepper, not like like sweet pepper or like a, like is that pepper corn. There we go. Easier way to describe it. Uh, peppercorn is actually made uh, here in Puwok. So if you ever go to a Vietnamese grocery store and you try to grab some black pepper, it's most likely coming from Puwok. Um, here we are. Ooh, we got somebody fishing here. So we are at the end of the pier here. Got somebody fishing. And unfortunately we can't go up. That would be awesome if we could, but uh, yeah, this is about as far as we can get. Um, oh, there we go. Uh, so I'll walk back to the beginning of the pier and let's check out the temple at the end if you can see that. Um, I'm gonna try to put the camera this way because the sun is just overhead over here and I don't want it to, uh, to uh, kind of overexpose the video. So this is, I think, a better view. Um, but yeah, so that, that was uh, one little fact about Fu Wok. A lot of peppercorn is grown here. Um, so I'm also going to be making a video about that. Uh, there's a peppercorn farm where you can supposedly live at for a bit um, and help them with the production, with the harvesting, uh, and they kind of teach you all about it. So that would be pretty awesome. So I might do that uh, here in the near future. I'm also hoping to make a video on fishing here in Fuwa um, and actually go out on a local fishing vessel. So I'm gonna, no promises here. I don't know if I can do that, but if I can, uh, I'm going to try and make that happen because I think that would be awesome uh, to go out on one of the just local fishing boats here and uh, yeah, kind of see how the local fishing culture is. Um, cause it's obviously, there's, there's a lot of fishing going on here. Um, so it'd be cool to check that out. So, here okay, I'll go ahead, I'll show you guys the view of the city once more. So we're walking back, you can tell there's tons of people up on those rocks. So I can at least get some videos, uh, some footage over there. But in, in the temple itself, as I said, uh, probably not. Oh, and we got a little touring boat coming through. So as I said, guys, there was the, uh, about the island hopping. Uh, there's a lot of little islands to the south of Fuwok. Um, there is actually a cable car that will bring you over to one of those. Here, this one's a tour. You can see all the people inside. I'm guessing that's the name of the owner, maybe? Um, but... Yeah, so there's a bunch of little small islands to the south of Huol, and there's actually a cable car. I think it's one of the longest sea cable cars in the world, something like that, uh, that will actually bring you over to the closest island. And then after that, you have to take boats to the other ones, um, which I am definitely gonna be doing. Uh, so truthfully, I have a ton of video ideas for the island, and I'm excited to be sharing those with you guys. Um, Here we go. So, let me flip the camera around for you guys once more. I'm just gonna show you guys this rocky beach, which looks 
quite nice. Um, what I'm trying to do, so I do live streams on TikTok twice, uh, twice a week. Uh, usually in the mornings, Tuesday and Thursday mornings, 8 to 10 uh, a.m. Uh, GMT plus 7, so Vietnam time. And uh, yeah, it would be really cool to start doing that on YouTube soon as well. Um, so I will keep you guys informed on my live stream activities. Um, but for the meantime, I wanted to try this type of uh, video kind of vlog formatting out and see if you guys liked it. So please let me know what you guys think. Anyways, here, give me, give me a second guys. I'm just gonna walk through here. Okay guys, so as you can see, a lot of people kind of take photos here, so let me let me get out of their photos. And let me not bust my ass either. Sorry guys, it's being a little quiet because it's uh, more of a religious place. So I wanted to be uh, wanted to be respectful of that. But let's go out on the beach and I'll get a little bit. I'll get a little bit more of a panorama of the um, of the temple here. One unfortunate thing is that the sun is a little bit in the picture here. So it's not, uh, not as great as I'd like it to be. Here we go. As you guys, if you guys can see it here. And so one thing about Phu Walk as well is that uh, it's not like Da Nang or Nha Chang where you have a bunch of public beaches. Most of the beaches here are private. Uh, they, they've privatized them to the resorts that build right on the beach side. Um, so it's not, I mean, you can walk along the beach and people will probably not say anything, um, but the resorts do own uh, the beaches. So um, I don't know if they technically own them, but they, they take care of them and it's kind of like, blocked off. There's no public walkway along the beaches like uh, Da Nang or Nha Chang. Um, so it is, it is definitely privatized here. Um, I'm personally starting to sweat a ton and I feel like I am burning. Um, but let's go ahead and walk around. Uh, Let's walk around the port here a little bit and let's check out these boats. Here we go. So let me go ahead, I'm gonna turn this around so you guys can see here we've got some two fishing boats, three fishing boats. Oh, and a really big one coming through. 
Um, that's, that's the type I'd like to get on at some point. So I'm gonna see if I can't do that. I've got a friend here who, uh, as you've probably seen in my other videos, speaks uh, very good Vietnamese um, and would love to join me on that adventure. And so we will uh, hopefully be doing that soon. Um, and as I said before, here are some of the tour boats. Um, yeah, hopefully I can find something to eat as well. That would be nice. Uh, the one thing, Phu Wok, since it is a small city, um, it's a lot of things are closed at this time. Things usually open just for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Remember to stay hydrated, guys. Woo! Um, but yeah, like I was saying, usually things are closed during this time, so I feel like I might have difficulty actually finding something to eat. Um, at least substantial, you know. Unless I want to find some like little snack thing on the street, but I was hoping to get some really good filling Vietnamese food. But I think I may be out of luck. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, for those of you who might be wondering, I should have said this before, uh, why I'm not wearing a face mask. Um, because a lot of you are probably wondering this and a lot of you may not be in Vietnam or places in Vietnam where things are a little more, you know. Uh, but anyways, most people here in Phu Wok aren't wearing face masks. Um, and uh, the current cases um, of COVID here in Vietnam are essentially zero. Um, there are some cases, some active cases, I think way in the north outside of Hanoi, um, where uh, an entire region was in lockdown for two months. But uh, they have just recently, I think they're out of lockdown now because they've got it under control. And that's, that's it. I mean, besides that, there's no cases. So uh, I'm following the rules and the guidelines. Um, and I'm just uh, following what the people are doing here. So um, you'll see a lot of people with face masks on when they're driving just because of some pollution, but truthfully the pollution here isn't really that bad. Um, yeah, here, let me flip the camera around. I just wanted to give you guys a disclaimer just to let you know I'm not trying to uh, go against any rules or regulations and that uh, masks are obviously very important to wear. So as you guys can see, we're just in this little park here. And yeah, it looks quite nice. They do have this one little, like I said, usually most of uh, of Phu Wok is, has been privatized along the, uh, along the seafront. Um, but I think this is one of the only, well, I shouldn't say that, but the one area at Phu Wok City, which has uh, been uh, publicly or which is, public because you know, it's the city obviously uh, but if you go down the coast like I said there's a lot of resorts which have been privatized uh, um, here we go um, yeah guys I, I, I think I think I'm out of luck with food I was just looking along all the little restaurants here and there are some people there, but they're, it's they're preparing food, it looks like, for dinner, uh, for dinner time. And it doesn't really seem like there's uh, much food available right now. Um, yeah, they had Joy Jin, which is fried banana. Where is that Joy Jin? I can't even tell. Um, yeah, just snack foods. So I'll have to take you guys on an adventure uh, with some foods here next time when it's actually uh, either lunch or dinner. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna head back to 
the bike. And I think that'll be it, guys. So this is, as I said, um, I'm just testing this type of footage out. Uh, I just didn't know what to expect. I just kind of wanted to just go on the fly. No, no script, no, uh, no scenes or footage that was planned. Just really just kind of going with the flow and seeing what happened. Uh, so like I said, I'm going to divide this up into chapters. Uh, so you guys can kind of skip around and decide what you'd like to see within the video. Um, and let me know what you guys think. Like, is this uh, a nice format for videos? Do you kind of like this non-edited vlog style of videos? Uh, or do you like the more edited versions where I maybe add some effects or uh, I have a lot more cuts and I've got drone footage and things like that? Or do you guys like both and should I do both? Um, so please feel free to leave me any of those suggestions in the comments below. Uh, that would be awesome. I really appreciate it, guys. Because um, obviously at the end of the day, I mean, I'm doing this content because I love it uh, and I really enjoy doing videography, but also uh, I wanna make good content for you all as well. So please let me know, put it down in the comments below your suggestions, whether you like this video format or not and uh, whether I should continue doing this. Um, but I will continue doing live streams as well, kind of walking tours, live streams. Uh, so I'm gonna kind of mix and match those and you guys just let me know what you like best. But with that being said, if you did like this video, please like and subscribe. Every week I come out with a new video um, and hopefully I can start coming out with a video twice a week. Um, so we will see how that works. Um, if I can start making content like this, like these types of videos, then I will definitely make twice a week. Uh, if not, and I require more editing, then uh, I will be uh, probably just doing once a week. Um, but once again, guys, thank you so much for all the support and I look forward to creating more content for you all soon. So as always, stay safe and I will see you guys next time. So bye-bye.